Hi, my name is Rich Harrington, and welcome to this episode of Video Adrenaline for Creative Cow. We're going to go over the process of setting up a multi clip for editing and walk you through the essential steps. Let's take a look. What you want to do is go ahead and sort of load the clip in and find your clapper marker. That works pretty well there. There's our clap point. There we go. There's our clapper. I'll mark the in point. That looks great. And I'm going to go ahead and put in a marker. We're going to say marker, clip marker, set other unnumbered, and I'll mark, make that marker number one. Let's go to the next clip. Find the same thing. There we go. Add a marker. Marker one. And just keep going through the clips, adding a sync point. There we go. There we go. So with those markers selected, we can now go ahead and drop these into a sequence and line them all up. Let's go ahead and put the first one into a sequence by dragging. Creates the new sequence. And there's our marker. And I'm going to go ahead and put the rest onto the corresponding tracks. There we go. There we go. If I go ahead and right click, I could choose Synchronize, and I'm going to choose to use the numbered clip markers and click OK. And you notice that all the clips shift to line up off of that sync point. So what we have there is a clean start off of that first marker, and they're all clapping. So that works really, really well. I'm usually going to go ahead and trim out the ends as well, but there's no need to. I just like to have my clips have a nice even amount. So let's just go ahead here to the end. We'll go ahead and add an edit, shift command K. We'll just delete that off. And there's everything there. And what we're going to do is nest this into a new sequence. So let's just drag that down. It's nice and clean. I'll take this here and we'll call this nest. And then we'll drag that nest into a new sequence and we'll rename that multicam. There we go. Right click on the sequence itself and choose multi camera enable. What I recommend is you go ahead and you choose window multi camera monitor to open that up. Now this gives you a sort of a view similar to source and record. And you see here we have what's happening on the program side and the source side, and we could switch between. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and record and press play, and I could switch between the angles by clicking on the live angle. And it records the switch. And when we stop, you'll notice in the timeline that those become actual edits. So it's pretty straightforward. You can also use the keyboard shortcuts of 1, 2, 3, and 4 to perform this. So let's just go ahead and invoke that again there. Press play. Make sure the record light is on. Switch angles. And we can just cut between. So you see we've switched between. Now in this particular case, we're going to lay back in the studio track so it's clean. They're just lip syncing for reference, but pretty straightforward multi-camera edit. All those edits translate down to the timeline here, 
and you could of course go through with your standard tools when finished. Just close that out and if you want to make a switch here you can grab the ripple edit tool and you could start to trim just like before or take advantage of the extend edit command shift E to extend the previous edit to the playhead or if I want to trim backwards shift E to do the next clip. So very simple way to quickly extend the incoming or the outgoing clip to quickly hit musical beats. I like the way that works. Pretty straightforward workflow, very versatile. You don't have to have all the same file formats, but you are limited to four angles inside of Premiere Pro. And if you ever just want to click an angle and change it, you can always just select it and double click on the clip. It loads up and that lets you click to change the angle right there down in the timeline. For Creative Cow, my name is Rich Harrington. Thanks for checking out this episode and be sure to head on over to creativecow.net. Click that podcast tab and you'll find tons of additional training on Adobe Premiere Pro as well as other great applications from Adobe as well. Thanks again.